So how to study? Let me give you some tips. First of all, you want to identify your weak points. Okay. So while you're studying, you want to know what you're forgetting. You have to learn what you're forgetting. You have to think and actively work on some sort of system to figure out what things are you forgetting. And it's good to read, give some time to forget, and then go back and read again. Right? So that helps you kind of create the path of looking for the information in your memory. Right? To recall it. You have to practice recalling information. It's not the same as just reading it and putting it in. Then you have to practice recalling it. And that takes read, forget, read, and then until you get it. Right? And practicing different ways. You have to learn forward and backward. Right? So in pharmacology, I have a, I developed a technique that will help you do that. So we start forward. We start with physiology, with the pharmacology, and all the mechanics. Then we learn the families, and then the, the names of the drugs. And then we go backwards. We, we look at the names of drugs and try to figure out which families they come from. So that's going forward to recall. So to practice recalling the names. Okay. I believe that reading something five, five times over a period of five months is better than reading it five times over five minutes. Okay. So if you sit down and you're reading a page, you read it once, you read it again, you read it five times, you're trying to understand it, you're like sitting there and wasting an hour on this page, that's not as good as reading it once, letting it go, come back to it later, read it again. That's better if you do that over a longer period of time. Okay? You'll never remember 100% of what you read. That's an expectation issue. So you have to expect that what you read the first time, no matter how much time you spend on it. So you'll never remember 100% of what you read when you're reading it the first time. So if I spend, okay, everything new is difficult. So you're gonna find a lot of things that are new and they're gonna be difficult. So just because you spend three hours on one, one card or one page, it doesn't mean you're gonna remember it better. Try to be more efficient, read it. Read multiple times better than, over a longer period of time, better than focusing on one page for an hour or two. Go through 15 pages quickly, then read them over again. It's better than reading one page over and over again. Okay, so that, at the end, near to my, to my exam, what I was doing is I was reading 10 cards quickly, and then I'll go back and read the 10 cards, kind of just limbs, and try to answer what I think in my head that card is saying. Right? So that kind of, that sh that's you learning about yourself. How much did I remember from my initial reading, my initial quick reading? How much did I remember? Okay, so you practice what parts you're forgetting. And create questions. So you could create questions on the parts to kind of trigger a response in your mind instead of um, instead of reading the card, right? You want to try to trigger the recall system. So the first time you study, first of all, you have to know that you're going to forget it. Okay? So the first time you read and you will forget. Expect that. Everybody doesn't believe me. But then when they do it, they believe me. They come and say, we read pharmacology and we forget everything. I'm like, yes, that is normal. Don't feel bad. You're going to forget everything. Okay? Read it again. Okay, you have to start somewhere. The first time, you're going to forget everything. The point of it is to get to the second time. Okay? That's something there. The first time doesn't count. <laughs> so try to finish the first reading quickly. So this is just like figuring out what is in the material. Try to understand a bit, try to learn. You're carving your borders. You know what I mean? When you're reading the material, you're kind of carving, oh, this, this material is going this much deep in this area. It's going that deep in this area. Kind of just making the whole contents of what the material is. So you're just reading and trying to, to you know, draw a, a border around the material. Okay. The second time, you could try to learn and understand better. And try to see what's actually new to me and try to learn that better. And here you can start creating questions to, to stimulate yourself in the third reading. Now, on the third time, you can try to use the questions that you've created to trigger to see, can you remember? Or take a peek at the card and see if you can remember any information. The things that you do remember probably became raw information, and that's what you want. You want something to become common to you. This is not something you have to remember. You just know it now, right? We don't have to remember that five comes after four, right? Just know we know that, so that's what you want to get to, right? You must figure out what information you keep forgetting. This is different for each person, so cross out sections that are easy and pointless, and keep the sections that you forget. 
this will make your final reading more efficient. So the first time I read the dental decks took me eight months. The second time, two weeks. Because I kept trimming all the extra things I learned and I know and become, became easy. Right? I, I worked on developing my last study studying, right? I've worked on developing how I'm going to study the fourth time. You, have to you can't just study the fourth time the same way you study the first time. You can't just do that. Right? You have to work on the fourth time, this is how I'm going to study. So I need to do something the third time to make it happen the fourth time. Okay? So our course, we have organized all the information. We have understood it. We'll provide you with organized material. The questions organized, the materials organized, and we will help you understand it all. The tough concepts that would have taken days to understand. And we research all the questions, we will help you achieve the result of four readings faster. Can you do it on your own? Yes, you can read four readings on your own. It will take you a lot more time. But we can do it faster for you. Okay? With organized material. So this is an example of one of my cards when I was studying. To show you how serious I was about crossing out things. <laughs> so a primordial cyst, does anyone know what a primordial cyst is? Okay, so a primordial cyst. So this is something that became for me common now. It's something that happens instead of the tooth. A cyst that develops instead of the tooth, it replaces the tooth. So, arises from cystic changes in the developing tooth, but before the formation of mineral dentin, since the that was an important sentence, I kept it. Since the primordial cyst arises from the tooth, but the tooth will be missing. See, this part I started cross crossing out. I'm like, I don't need to read this again. Since it arises from a tooth, but the tooth will be missing from the dental arch, unless the cyst arose from the tooth, but of a supernumerary tooth. Okay, that just makes sense, but it's annoying to read, so I'm just not going to read it anymore. Because I already know that. If it's a supernumerary tooth that became the primordial cyst, there's not going to be a missing tooth. Does that make sense? Okay, so I don't need to read that because it makes sense. I read it to me. The mandibular third molar and fourth molar, okay, I found that interesting. I might forget that. Fourth molar? Okay, so that's new to me. So I'm going to keep that. I highlight it. Cross all this out. It is usually found in children and young adults between 10 and 30. That's a big range, 10 and 30. That seems unnecessary for me to remember. So I'm just going to cross it out. And I keep doing that, right? And then after, you see here there's a yellow highlight. That means the reading after, I found this easy and this new. So I highlighted this again, you see? So the fourth reading I come and I go like, one, two, three, I'm done the part. You see? That's how you want to start studying. But again, like the books are organized. I already took the main things and, 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 and they're kind of already um, efficient, but for you, it's not about, it doesn't matter how much something is, is well done, you will always remember less than what you're reading. So it's good sometimes to put extra stuff so that you remember the important stuff. Okay, so that's also a strategy in pharmacology. We do the pharm I give you pharmacology a lot, but you'll end up remembering the important things okay, easily. There's another part, for example, so that you practice kind of the idea that. Okay, this tumor or traumatic bone cyst um, is an asymptomatic intraosseous empty cavity of young, um, of young patients located primarily within the mandible, lined with loose connective tissue. Where was that radiographic picture? These are the names, so I, I kept highlighting the names. Clinical features, children and adult, and adolescents. And then here I crossed that out because it didn't really matter to me. So you have to figure out what what things are going to be crossed out. We'll help you with that. On the front of the card, if the question you're answer, you're asking yourself on the deck, does anyone know how the decks look like? This is how they look like. They're cards with questions on the front, information on the back with the answer. Okay. If I get the answer right, I check mark. I'm not reading that question again. It takes time. Right? And then I create things on the front of the card that trigger the information on the back of the card. So most common adontogenic tumor. And I put the answer. So I go like this and I start, do I know all this? If I answer it all correctly, I don't need to read the card. Techniques, all techniques to perfect your fourth study or the last. Okay? Fourth if you're on your own, but your final study. Another technique is, if you're reading from the decks, is to get information from another card that's related to this card, put it here, so that you delete one of the cards. So there's two cards that both talk about the same topic. I'm going to take that two sentence that I highlighted from this one, write it on this one, get rid of that one. Okay, that way you have less things to read. Okay, naming the cards, if you're, again, if you're studying from the decks, right, you're going to find five cards, probably a bunch of cards about dentigerous cysts. All of them are different areas, splatter. 
So you name them integers, integers, and you can organize all the integers things together. And basically, that's how I was studying. That's how I uh, summarized the material because I kept putting things together. Okay. And you have to do the same with the release questions. The release questions take so much time to read. So if you answer it the first time, let's say we're in class, I'm presenting a question, you answered it correctly. The second time, on your own, you answer it correctly. Why are you reading it a third time? You don't need to read it a third time. That's it. That means if it comes to the exam, you have to have the confidence that you'll answer it correctly. There's no time to waste on that question. Okay? Reading a question and its options is time consuming. If you know that, you know the correct answer, then it's a waste of time. Yes, it makes you feel good to know, right? To approve of yourself. Like, yeah, I got, I got this one. But that's not going to help you in the exam. Okay? How to use the R course. So the course is a guide. We will teach you as much as we can. We believe we are teaching you at a level, a level higher, at a higher quality than the dental school actually. So we got this from last year, a few people even said it, that we learn more than what we learn in university here in less time. Okay? We are helping you understand the things your dental school skipped or ignored and the concepts you need to pass as well. How to use the course? So our teaching style will accomplish two things. First, you're going to pass the AFK, plus learning dentistry at a higher level. You need to know the things before you become a dentist. We will keep it balanced so that you're getting both, plus mainly direct to passing as well. You may never get another chance to learn the things you will learn here in the AFK. The information in this course is really important for you being a dentist. Patients and doctors expect a practicing dentist to know the stuff that we're going to teach you. They expect you to know it, the diseases, the pharmacology, the basics of it. So it's rather just enjoy it and, and see that it's beneficial to the future. Not that it's just, ah, oh, the AFK exam sucks, right? Look at it as something beneficial for your career at the end. Okay? 